Hello, and thank you for joining me at Ham Radio Hef. I'm Hef, Kilo 4, Hotel Echo Foxtrot. I thought that um, I'd do a video on this awesome POTA Plus plugin and um, using a proxy with um, Hamrig and um, their, um, not Hamrig, but uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but I can show you. Uh, there's a great website that really nails it down on how to do this. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like. Um, let me fire up my radio. And I'm using the Yaesu FT710. And I'm really loving the receive on this thing, let me tell you. And right now I have it set to uh, 10 meters. But that doesn't matter because I'll show you why. So let me uh, go to this main page here. So this is dwestbrook.net, his project for POTA Plus. And he made this awesome little uh, add-on for Chromium browsers, which includes Edge, Chrome, and a number of other browsers as well. And here he kind of goes down the whole entire list of features and everything. But basically, you want to scroll down to the download. You want to get the extension here. And you'll install it, and then it'll install the extension into Chrome or any of your Chromium browsers. You can see it up here. It doesn't, uh, when you click the icon, there's some weird update in the recent windows where it makes it look like this, and I haven't figured out how to, how to get it out of there. But that doesn't really matter that much. What matters is you can right-click and go to Extension Options. And here, you can set all your options. The basic things you want to know is... You're going to want to, you know, just look over these options, see what's good for you. I, of course, have enable, uh, enabled needed ops, enabled needed uh, N1CC, enabled needed locations, enabled needed worked all states, enabled needed parks, and, of course, the, um, the award summary. You can also do additional spot filters, hide the detail, and all these other filters you can do here. I do show the solar widget as well, and I'll show you that. And then I also have um, it connected to QRZ via the API key, the reverse beacon network, and PSK reporter. Put in my grid square, and I'm using OmniRig as the rig for controlling the radio. Um, your other options are DXLab, Commander, and AC Log to control the radio. And then um, Ham Apps Proxy, after you install that proxy from that website, you want to just point it to localhost, port 8073, and HTTP. This should already be all default for you. Data mode is USB, always right. And then CW mode, CW. Um, I don't have a rotor. And there, here's my QRZ subscription. And below that's the API key, which I'm not going to show you. <laughs> so, and that's all there really is to setting up the POTA app uh, do -do -do, uh, extension for, for uh, Edge or Chrome. So we're going to close this, and I'm going to go ahead and if I knew how to click stuff, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and load up poda.app. You know, the, the great poda website for hunting and, and also spotting your activations. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go to 40 meters. So I'm going to click on 40 meters now that it's getting kind of later. I'm going to set my radio to 40 meters. I'm go to my band. I don't necessarily have to do this, and I'll show you why in a second. Actually, let me show you that now. So I'm going to go back to the main display here. And you'll see I'm logged in. And here we can see the propagation conditions. Not looking super great, and it hasn't been super great the last few days. Although 10 meters this morning was not too bad, but not as good as I've seen it. And if we scroll down, you can see everybody right now that's activating and being spotted on 40 meters. I have it filtered to 40 meters and single sideband. And now you can see that POTA app extension gives you this here, where you can click these. So if I click this, I'm gonna turn up the volume on my radio. You can hear I'm on FT8 right now. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, wait. Aha. I forgot. Let me lower that. I forgot to run the ham <laughs> proxy and that tool that I just mentioned that you should be running. So let me go ahead and run that, that Omni rig. So 
um, loading up Omni Rig right now. Let me show you that real quick. Main display. There's Omni Rig. Rig. I have it set to FTDX10 because they don't have an FT710 definition yet. And it works just fine. So my radio is on COM6, 38, 400 baud, 8 data bits, all that fun stuff. And then we just kind of leave that off to the side. And then you run the ham apps proxy. And now just minimize that, go back to the POTA app website, and then refresh. Now you'll see the POTA plus extensions nice and green. We can look at the propagation. We can see all our parks hunted and late shifts hunted and all that fun stuff like normal. And then we come down here and now let me turn up the volume. You can hear the FT8. Now I want to click that. Now it brings me to 40 meters single sideband on lower sideband. So uh, yeah, I think there was a flare or something. I heard something there you go. And now let's say, oh, they're kind of rag chewing right now. So let's try this New York. Conditions aren't great yet. Oh, CQ Poda, there you go. You had 5.9 in North Carolina recently. I'm in South Carolina, but, you know, you can see, you know, just click again for Georgia. Nothing heard there. And West Virginia. And it is automatically changing the frequency on my radio every time I click these. So let's say I make a QSO with this fella, right? So I'm over here and I'm like, all right, I want to make a QSO. Now, remember when I showed you before, we had it connected to QRZ, right? With a subscription, of course. You can go hit, hit QSO and you can put in your report right here and you can spot, spot and log and that'll automatically log to your QRZ or you could just log. Of course, most of the time we're gonna do spot and log. So we can put a f comment, 5.9 and South Kakalaki, right? Um, transmitting 100 watts, 5.9, 5, 5.9 5, 9 both ways, and then do spot and log. I'm not gonna do that, of course, because I don't wanna put that in my logbook. But that's how easy this is. You don't have to use an external, you do not have to use an external um, logging program or anything. Uh, don't need to use hammers. You don't need to use AC log while you're hunting. So this is just game changer. Now, if you want to take those logs that you've gotten from using the POTA app and automatically submit into QRZ um, and things like that, you can just download your QRZ um, contacts in ADIF and load them into your logging program of choice if you want to keep those all local. So you always have that option as well. Well, I hope that you thought this was good and I hope that helped. And if you have any questions or you want me to do a deeper dive on installing the hand proxy, um, but it's really just point, you know, this the simple Windows installs like you're used to, um, or you know, you, you need help setting up your radio, let me know and I'll see what I can do. You can join our my Discord at Ham Radio Hef on Discord. I'll have the link in the description. And of course, give me a like and subscription if you really like this video. And there'll be some more videos coming soon, some antenna videos, and who knows? I have a lot planned, so just keep, keep tuned. All right, well, have a good one in 73.